that you know this is all about language. We don't want to make it about politics. And so I always want to make sure that people don't forget because when you go onto the website, you know, all you see really is probably the platform, the technology, and really what this is all about is people. So like our meetups, like we had this in Buenos Aires um, last year, or Wikimania, and this is why sometimes you must meet because people really drive this. I mean, like you in the audience, you really are Wikipedia. If you're contributing, even if you're using, that's what Wikipedia is. And so you have all these people get together, they're sharing ideas and information, and they pretty much, you know, at this conference alone, represent 50, 60 different countries in the world. For example, you know, you have an American, um, it's like right there, he's from Israel. She's from Germany, Nina. Um, he's from Japan. And what everyone does is really try to share that information and talk about universally what we're trying to do. And that's create, you know, neutral content that really reflects all the information in the world. So the reason why we can do this so effectively is also our licensing policy. Um, everything is available under Creative Commons and most likely the, the vast majority of the information is under the, mo the least restricted license, so that's CC by SA. So that means anybody can use this information. And that really also helps why we grow and people really want to access the information here and use it because we encourage that. You can do anything you want with the information as long as you subscribe and attribute according to the licenses and really just have to keep it free. So you could even use it for commercial purposes. I mean, what this does is make this information as usable as possible. I have a question. Yeah. Does that include the history of the articles and the history of uh, the edits? In terms of how you would want to use it? I mean, it's the, the freedom of the history so you can look at it and you can get that information. But really, it has to be the content itself that's under the license. I mean, in terms of the history, how would you want to use it? Um, there's a previous version of an article right. and uh, different content from what it is right now. Mm -hmm. um, uh, is that also, the, the previous content is also uh, um, available and free to use? Yeah, well, the thing is, with the, as long as it's been um, acknowledged in the site, yeah, because with the content, sometimes it's even reverted. The content is always a work in progress. So anything that's happened before and has been used is still under the license. Anything that's new and has been edited is under the license. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you giving that uh, statement and uh, making it public that it's that way. Sure. So when we go back to that, I mean, with the licenses, everything is free and open to use. And I want to make sure that you all know that we really want to let the world in. You know, passion for fact is universal. Like I said, sometimes you must meet, which we showed before. Free is a powerful motivator, and language borders, not geopolitical ones. Now, going back into the history, I don't know if anybody knows this, but Wikipedia wasn't the first project that Jimmy Wales started. What this really started out with was um, Newpedia. And what Jimmy thought about is that he wanted to have um, experts, people with PhDs who verified that information. It was a very slow process. Um, we were getting about a thousand articles, one to two thousand articles per year, which really wouldn't, it would take you a lifetime just to get something that's a, a small percentage of what, what Wikipedia is today. So they started out with wikis and allowed anybody to edit, and then within a year you had 50,000 articles. So this is where it started out. And this is where we are now. And you can see that massive growth in all of the different languages there. So the one issue that we're still having right now is because there are still cultural issues. I mean, even if you deal with Portuguese, the Brazilians probably think about things in a little different way than the Portu people from Portugal. And what we're trying to do is make sure people collaborate. And the thing is, because everyone knows we're really about knowledge and it shouldn't be about politics, people are really trying to work together on this. And if you want to find even more information of how things grow and a little bit about um, different statistics, we are very, we're a very open organization. You can find anything that you want 
um, about what we do. And I wanted to show you, if you just go to the internet, I mean, you could just go to any of our sites. Here's one that's pretty interesting. So we actually put all our statistics online. So if you go to stats.wikimedia.org, you can click on this area. And this, basically, we have a monthly report card. And you can see how the growth of Wikipedia is. And you can just scroll down. And all, all our information is free and open to the public. You can see how many new articles per day, the number of edits per month, all of that information is there. And you can see the detailed trends for each project. So if you ever have time, if you want to just go to stats.wikimedia.org, you can check a lot of these things out. And I'll put it in Portuguese for you. So you can see all the language growth right here. So you can see how things are developing over time. Um, every, anyone, like I said, anyone can access this information. And what we've done even recently is we've trying to provide our data dumps on a more frequent basis. So what we're doing is taking all of Wikipedia, putting it on the server so other people can access it, such as researchers, um, people like you. And if you want to crunch that data and find different things about you know, how, how different articles are evolving and so forth, we make that all available for anyone to analyze. So the two other points that I want to make that expand on our notion about you know, letting this be as open as possible and really making it about language is that it's still about trust. Um, we're successful because we do trust the people that contribute. We would not be where we are unless we trust them. And they do trust each other. I mean, obviously, you know, things like vandalism and other things will happen. But we want to really always go back to trust and make sure that we give people the benefit of the doubt because you know, we wouldn't be what we are unless we really thought positive things about people. And we want to be bold. We think bold is, is universal. I mean, if you told people many years ago, OK, we want to create this open flat platform where everybody can edit and create information, you would think that we were crazy. Um, how could that be successful? But the thing is, you know, if people do have the same philosophical beliefs, I mean, they're really about making this neutral. Um, they want to make it open. They want to collaborate. Great things can happen. And you know, if you were a student, you know, back when maybe 20 years ago, and you said that you would have this open platform that everybody can put their information in and kind of work together to create um, free knowledge, you would say that would never work. It would never be accurate. But we've proven that this is. This does work because you really have to stick with your values. And everyone that's involved with this really knows that trust and being bold is what's making this successful. So where does Wikipedia and the projects go from here? I mean, you've seen a lot of growth so far. And people are wondering, well, what can you do at this point? And what we're trying to do is really think about what does Wikipedia and the projects look like in the next five years? And so a few months ago, as I mentioned, we had this strategic planning process. And we allowed anybody to contribute to it. And I mean that anybody. If you just went online and you said, well, I, I have this idea about what you guys should be doing in Africa, or you should be doing this technology platform, and so forth, we allowed anybody to come in, give those comments, and join one of our planning committees.
so this is the site you can go to. And this is our strategy site. And you can see that over the course of a few months, we allowed anybody to come in. You can, you can still go in now. We've already kind of did our first draft. You could actually download our strategic plan. It's about uh, 100 pages in PDF. And you can still make recommendations to different task force. So they were divided up by communities, um, territories, like you know, should we go into India as opposed to Africa? What should we do in mobile? Anybody could have been involved in this process. And so what we did is we brought on Bridgespan, which is a division of Bain that focused on nonprofits. And we got them to um, research a lot of information. We got a lot of our advisory board involved with this. And we looked at, you know, what do we need to do to make sure the, the sum of all human knowledge gets uh, more developed and more accessible to more people in more places. So from this process, because all, we took all this information and we analyzed it, and we decided that the priorities are going to be, obviously, to build the platform. I mean, there's a lot of work that still needs to be done in Wikipedia. I know if you've edited it, it at all, you know that it's not the easiest process, even from a technology standpoint, you know, adding WYSIWYG to make sure that, you know, what you see is what you get when you edit, instead of all of the wiki text that's out there. So we know that we have to concentrate on that. We want to strengthen the editing community. So we want to give more tools for people to be able to edit, more educational resources. So in our public outreach um, division, you know, we've hired an education manager. We're creating more material. So you can see how it'll be easier and there'll be more knowledge out there on how you can contribute to the community and edit as well. And then we're also going to invest in key geographic areas, which I'll mention um, a little later in the presentation. Um, mobile development, which is one of the areas that I personally am focused on, because really it's about how do people access that information. And if you go to a lot of, um, especially developing countries, you know, you go to um, India, China, Brazil, really more and more people, the way they're getting their information or getting access to the in internet is through mobile devices. And mobile doesn't just include phones. I mean, you're seeing a huge growth in tablets, um, other internet connected devices. So we want to make sure you know, that's available. And the other thing we're also doing is that in the meantime, another project that I've been working on is offline products. So we know that everyone doesn't have access to the internet at this point. So what we're trying to do is create different devices like um, USB sticks that have all of Wikipedia articles in it. So I even brought some samples here today. But what we've done you know, with some of our outside developers is we've taken all of Wikipedia in English that's three million articles and condensed it into four gigabytes. So you could basically just put that on a micro SD card like on your mobile phone and if you don't have internet access you can actually look up all the articles in Wikipedia. We've done it for Portuguese. Um, it's about, it's less than one gigabyte. You know, so you could basically install that on your computer if you're, let's say, in, in uh, East Africa and you don't have access to the internet, and it, let's say if occasionally you do, you could download the newest version like once per month. So at least you have access to that information. So what we're trying to do is make sure that we innovate and keep up with what's happening in mobile, but at the same time, make sure that people that don't have access to it still from the internet can still get it in an offline product. <coughs> 